Hey everybody, it's Amy. How are you? I'm not doing a way update because I'm still right at 243.4 or something like that this morning. I don't know. It's 243 point something. My lowest was 242.0. So I'm right around that same mark that I've been for a while. Um, I had the VSG. Sorry about my chair. It's squeaky. Um, I had the VSG with Dr. Bruce Shermer at UVA on December 19th, 2014. So I'm coming up on my one year mark. Still stuck around that 79, 80 pound mark lost, um, which does get a little frustrating, but I know I can get the last 50. I kind of changed my goal. I really just want to be under 200, um, maybe 190. So another 50 to go ish. Um, if I do get to 175, that's great, but that's not really um, my goal anymore. So I wanted to talk a couple of seconds about, or a couple of minutes, um, about some things that have been going on. I went to my doctor last week um, fighting my iron. Um, I've always had low iron. I mean, always. So that's not um, a huge difference for me except that I can't eat, like I used to eat McDonald's a lot, so I used to eat a lot of red meat because of the burgers, and I don't do that anymore. Like, I can go two or three months without red meat. I'll eat chicken, fish, um, but no real, even like when the family has hamburgers, I was eating veggie burgers, so it's not a big, I'm not a big red meat person. Um, never really been a huge red meat person, don't like steak. Um, so that's, I'm sure, not helping my iron level. Um, I still can't eat a lot at one time, which is okay with me, especially if it's protein first. I do still struggle with that. But I went to my primary care physician and my ferritin level is, the highest I've been able to get it is 43, which their level, um, their, their range is from 50 to 170. And last two years ago in 2013, my level was 30 something, like 34. So 43 is still low. Um, he said they want me to be at least 100. So that explains why I'm exhausted all the time. I'm tired. I could sleep all the time and be completely okay with that. I wake up and feel like I haven't been to sleep yet a lot of days. Um, getting motivated to do things is difficult, um, especially in the mornings when I've just gotten up because I just want to go back to sleep. Um, but then at night I, I get this like second wind and I don't want to go to sleep, but I'm sorry. <sighs> Sleepy. Um, and it's. 3.30 in the afternoon and I'm exhausted like my eyes can you see under my eyes I mean it it looks like I've been beat up it's just exhaustion I'm so tired um, so the doctor said that he wants me to go see my OBGYN which I didn't have one since I've moved here so I've got an appointment um, December 30th is my appointment date. I'm hoping I can get in sooner than that, but I don't think I can. So, okay, girl information. So, any of you guys that might watch, if you don't want to hear about girl stuff, you might want to say goodbye now, because it's going to get girl stuff. Um, so, now that I've warned you, periods. Let's talk about periods. They're too long. They're lasting a week. Um, they're horribly heavy to the point where, and this is so awful and I'm so embarrassed, but I said I'd be honest, so I'm gonna, it's, um, I bleed through the pad, I bleed through my clothes, and sometimes even onto the chair I'm sitting on. And when you're sitting down, that should be like, I mean, you should have that plugged where it's not bleeding like that, but it just so much. Um, it... I was never a regular person before surgery. I would go at least six weeks. Um, when I first started, when I was 15, I would go six months without one. I'd have like one or two, maybe three a year, and that's it. 
So the the I'm bleeding a lot and more often. So I'm taking a multivitamin with iron in the morning. I'm taking a multivitamin in the evening with iron and an iron pill. So I'm feeling like I'm taking getting nothing but iron and I'm still low. I'm still exhausted. I still look like this with the circles. Um, I'm miserable. So I think part of the reason why I'm having such a horrible time losing this last weight is because I'm exhausted. So exercise, I can't do a lot. I can walk a mile, um, but I'm tired after that. My legs are shaky and I'm not out of breath. I'm just tired. Like to try to do cardio, forget it. It's just, I get so tired so fast. So I go see my OBGYN on December 30th and my PCP said I either need an ablation or a hysterectomy. My mother has had um, uterine cancer and kidney cancer. My dad had lung, brain, lymph node, and bone. He died of cancer from smoking. So. I've got cancer on both sides of my family. A hysterectomy is not the worst thing that could happen to me. I'm not upset about the surgery, but I was upset and cried for several days about my school. I'm in nursing school and I don't want to fail. So I did talk to one of my professors last week and because we're out of school this week. And um, I talked to her last week at clinical and I explained what was going on and how they didn't, my PCP said he didn't think I should wait. I needed it done now because I'm showing too many symptoms. Um, it, it needs to be taken care of. Um, this anemia, we just did hematology in nursing school and anemia is really not something to mess around with. You can become confused, you can have heart problems, um, you have oxygenation problems. I mean there's a lot of things that can come with being anemic. So I definitely need to get it taken care of as soon as I can. And they said I did too and it was okay that we would work it out. Um, so I'll find out December 30th. I'll probably have another one by then because I'm on it now and I started three days early this time. So every day seems to be getting a little earlier every time and they last longer and they're more heavy and I'm miserable. So I think the hormonal changes after the VSG and losing this weight has really screwed up my system. For a system that wasn't all that great to begin with because I was always low on iron. 2013 I was in the 30s my ferritin and I wasn't even I didn't even have surgery yet so I'm not blaming it on the surgery by any means because having the surgery is still one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life um, I just am feeling the side effects and that's another reason why I chose the VSG instead of the uh, my brain can't focus um, the bypass because of that iron issue. I didn't want to not absorb the iron I was taking. So we're in the process of getting things taken care of. I just wanted to make a video because this is something that happens. Um, another one of my friends had VSG. I'm not going to say her name and she's had a hysterectomy since and she just had her surgery, her VSG in October last year and in August she had a hysterectomy because of the bleeding. So it does happen it's not that the surgery is bad or that maybe down the road it won't get fixed and my hormones won't level out but right now I'm miserable and I cannot continue this way so it needs to stop so I'll keep you guys posted I'll do some videos about it and, um, and I do want to get back into this losing and I don't know if the I don't know how to get it back without doing an iron infusion um, they scare me. It scares me to do that, but I may have to because I'm miserable and I just really want to feel better. I want to feel normal. I don't want to feel like things that I love to do, I don't want to get up and do because I'm so exhausted that I can't. It, it's, it's getting through school is just, oh, I'm miserable. I mean, look, look at me, look at my eyes. I look like I've been beat up and I haven't. <laughs> um, 
least not in that sense of the word. My body's beating me up, but so anyway, um, we'll see. And of course, you know, all this iron I'm taking is going to cause Miralax to be my best friend. So I have my bottle of Miralax ready to go. So anyway, I will go. I'll see you guys soon. Subscribe, rate, comment. I do read comments. Um, try to respond, but being busy, sometimes I don't get to them right away. But I really do try to in a timely manner. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. And I do want to get back into losing again because I still have at least 50 to go to get to one of my goals. So 67 if I want to reach the last one, which right now doesn't even register on my to-do list. It's just, um, yeah. I go December 10th to see my doctor for my one-year follow-up. So anyway. I'll keep you posted. Love you guys. I'll try to do a video at least every week and um, keep, keep updated. So, see you guys soon. Love you. Bye.